Today, before we begin, I want to look at the different writing modes. We've been writing in narrative mode, and we're making a big switch today to informational text, sometimes called expository text, and here we're using a descriptive text structure. So just to review, the purpose of a narrative is to tell a story. When we plan our narratives, we use an organizer shaped like this narrative structure diagram or plot diagram to say first what happened, then what happened, here's the climax, here's the resolution. Our craft that we use is inner thinking, action, dialogue, and description. We blend those together to create a narrative. On the other hand, when we're writing informational text, our purpose is to inform the reader about many aspects of a topic. And when our um, structure is descriptive, we're trying to describe all the features of something, of our topic. The organizer we're going to use is some kind of bubble map. The main topic goes in the center, and all the different features go off in different directions. There's usually not a particular order to these features. They can be presented in any order. And for craft, we're going to use signal words that tell that we're describing. We're going to say the parts or the ingredients or the elements. We're going to say something's made of. We're going to say to illustrate, or one example, another example, one feature, also, in addition, we're just going to add on lots of information about this topic. There are many kind of text, informational text structures. Today, we're working with the descriptive structure. In other weeks, we'll do other kinds of informational writing. The first thing you need to do is pick a topic. You're going to want to write about an object or activity you know a lot about or care a lot about. There's a whole list of categories of things that would work well for this activity. Read through it. It's certainly not exclusive. Come up with your own. Once you have an idea to write about, you're going to plan. So um, you can pause the video and think. When you're ready to continue, you're going to start planning. Last week, Ms. Renicky wrote a story about when everything went wrong with a wedding cake. And so I'm going to continue the idea of cakes, but this time we're going to be writing a descriptive informational text about the lemon lavender cupcake. And so I've set up my bubble bat with that cupcake in the center, and then I have all these different features that I'm going to look at going across the sides. One of the features are sensory qualities. What does it look like, sound like, smell like, feel like, taste like? What are they made of? What are the ingredients? Would be a whole different aspect. Another thing I might want to talk about is how lemon lavender cupcakes make you feel. We could look at how, what they make you think about or what they remind you of. We could talk about what they can be used for. There might be lots of other aspects of lemon lavender cupcakes that you could talk about and you'd make a separate bubble for each one. Let's look in more detail about writing about sensory qualities. We use sensory detail and imagery in our narrative writing, but we also can use the same type of imagery in our informational writing. You're going to want to know how those lemon lavender cupcakes look like, sound like, taste like, smell like, and feel like. So what are the sensory qualities of my cupcake? Well, to look at them, they're fluffy and round and domed and petite. They're pale yellow. The sound is a tough one, but the smell is floral and citrusy. The feeling is moist and crumbly. The taste is sweet and lemony and tangy. My favorite cupcakes have several different parts. There's the cake, there's the filling, and there's the frosting. And I could go through the sensory qualities of each of those things separately. I also might want to talk about the effect they have on me, or what they remind me of, or how I used them when I was growing up. So now for your topic, you're going to do some brainstorming and make a graphic organizer. You can either make a bubble map, if it makes more sense to you to make boxes and bullets, you can do that. 
or you could make some kind of chart. But at any rate, you need to organize your thinking different categories and different details that you want to tell all about your topic.